Okay. Good morning. It's 9.07. We'll call this meeting with Stock County Commissioner's Court to order. We have only one item on the agenda, but it's everybody's favorite item is to approve the payroll <laughs> for uh, payment. And uh, this time we have been presented the materials by the auditor to review. Chief, you all have one over there also. Is that correct? Yes, all right. Thank you. Let me say something, Judy, while I've got it on my mind, and Chief, I the sheriff told me about the extra people, y'all. I think it's extra people or we're having to do things because of that water line being broken out at Sprague. Yes, sir. So we're going to have some overtime that we need to identify those people. We didn't have any on the second shift. I, mean, I, I think only... I believe only four people actually stayed for about an hour to two hours um, Saturday evening. <clears throat> the incident happened too late for second shift to have extra people um, within policy, and then we held them over till about we held some second shift officers over till around midnight, um, and then I sent them home when the repair when we were, when we were able to we just sent them home. I have the names. I have yet to print up their their information, but I got the names yesterday. Okay. So uh, I have that information. I'll get it to you as soon as I can. Okay. Yeah. That needs to be billed to the. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and that, that's why I'm going to yeah. give it to okay. you. Okay. And we'll need to look for that so that we capture not only what they're paid, but the salary costs to go with it. Um, and so if you'll let the benefits. Okay. Sure. Have that. So you guys will take care of what position they're in and the amount of money they make an hour? Do we give you the name and their, is all you need, your, their, the name and employee number? The name and hours? Yeah, we can figure out how much the rate okay. is. Okay. Oh, okay. And then how many hours they work yes. to, for that? Directly related to the water incident. Okay. About how many people total? I four. Mean, we had four, four okay. stay over. That would be too hard to track. We just need to make sure we get it billed to the incident because yes. that responsibility needs to go to the contract. Yeah. So. Yeah. We did uh, we have to go out at 4 o'clock or before 4 o'clock I went out and did buy six cases of water because every two hours we have to offer the inmates water so we were coming up on a two hour mark. Okay. We do have that receipt for that. Good. And um, we had to call out Porter John to come out and bring Porter John's in case we needed them because there was no water in the facility but I don't believe they got used. I'm not positive but we'll still get a bill for that. We're still going to get a bill. Yes sir. Yeah. yeah. No. And that was all that's good proactive stuff to have that in case it had lasted longer yeah, sir. and uh, you know I, I'm, we're gonna have to watch to be sure that plumbing bill doesn't come to us I don't, did we call for the repair or did the contract he, did, he, he called for Chad him? called for the repair to come okay. out there all right yeah I think I think Gabe and them did the repair didn't they yeah. our guys yeah no no I mean our the, the plum, one of the plumbers we use all the time Wilbur, yeah, they did it the Wilbur. Wilbur McKay, yeah, 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 they used, yes. which they're familiar with the system, so that was a good call. But okay, but we just need to watch that and put get all of that rolled together into one claim and let Meredith. We give her the facts; she will present the claim. It's gonna stand up. Yeah, and I understand. I'm, yeah, I'm used to you. <laughs> all right. Judy, on the jail hours, would you help me again on the overtime hours per inmate? That is per what? Is, is the report telling me that there is 1.85 hours in the pay period per inmate average? Number of hours of overtime for that period and divides it by the number of uh, the average uh, jail population. I believe that's how that's calculated. So, I'd have to double check that. Well, I assume it's coming off the 431 number, that's what's in the top column. 
that would be the. It should be. Is that like a monthly average duty? Do you know? Or? It's uh, two week, mm -hmm. fourteen days. Fourteen days. So it it, it ties days. directly to the pay period. You may need to use that microphone, Judy. Okay. Um, it says it's the same fourteen days as the overtime is reported on this. So does that mean that per per inmate? Collectively, in there, there's a there's a 1.85 hours of overtime for the entire 14 days, or is that per day? That should be per day. I'm going to need to look back and at that okay. uh, formula just to be sure, though, because I haven't really paid much attention to that one. Okay. I know that the uh, when it converts that to the at overtime cost per inmate, uh -huh. it is using the uh, average overtime rate, which is um, right to the left of the colored box there. Okay. That is the average of all of the But staff. that cost is per pay period, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, so yes. It, it, we would have increased our cost only $46 per inmate over that pay period. So if Johnny... Johnny Doe was in jail for those 14 days, his cost would have went up $46. Not yes. 46 per day. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What page are y'all looking at? The back page. Page seven. Page. The that last would be the very page. last. I do need to check those um, yeah. hours per inmate, though, because that, just looking at it, it doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to double check those uh, averages, and I'll, if those need to be recalculated, I'll correct that on the next, the next one. See, I'm I'm trying to compare the total overtime to the average number, and I can't make anything come out. But that's a good number. That's a lot better number than what we've been seeing. Commissioner. If you look at you, the, um, how do you go from 4.72 to 1.85 with only a five? person reduction in average population mm -hmm. and that's a pretty big jump for yeah. that, that's why it doesn't really look quite yeah. right to me but our total overall hours were up over 600 hours in jail operation on the pay period and that that seems odd to me I mean overtime is way up um, do y'all know why why we would require 600 more hours of work than what we normally do to do the currently during that time frame we were down between 12 and 14 deputies or jail jailers yeah but you made it up with overtime though well, yeah right? we made it up the overtime yes sir but we also had oji schools and fmla which accounted for six additional jailers right at 20 positions is what we're short so you had them going a different direction six employees going a different direction for the pay period. Yeah, we, just, we had one OJI, but, one that, no, four that was in school, one that was FMLA. So we had to fill those positions. That, that's six, but that only accounts for half of the time. Okay. If I gave everybody 80 hours. Yes, yes, sir. Six times eight, 480. Yes, sir. So I'm up though. 600 hours, what's your Ish. Us. Um, the, way I, uh, the way I had figured it out, I took the, the number of overtime hours and I took off the sick the sick and the vacation and the military leave we had during that time and subtracted that from the total number of hours and I divided it by 80 and it came out at 20.225 bodies and that's, about, that's exactly what we're short. Okay. See, what I'm curious about is you look at, across that top line up there, average daily jail population for the overtime pay period. We went from 436 on 2.8 to 431 on 2.22. So we dropped five in the population. We had more overtime by not quite 200. Are those dollars? Those are dollars, aren't they? Those are hours. Those are hours. Okay, yeah, by... About 200 hours. Yeah. And then, and yet our average went down. I, I can't make that work. Well, we still we, we yeah. still have to have the same number of employees, regardless of what the average is, because the 
inmates are separated oh, so out. So smaller population makes the average go up. Sure. Okay. All right. I'm with you. I'm, I'm thinking backwards. It's hard to. <laughs> that, that's what I was struggling with. Is how did we go from 472 hours per inmate to 185 when we had a decrease in population, and yet we, I don't know. I've got. It'll come to me in a minute. Yeah, I see what you mean. You got a, you got a smaller population. That's going to boost your hours per per inmate. Yes, sir. Okay. Because you still got to cover the slots. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It takes forty eight of them. To yeah, make that's it. what makes that so makes difficult. Yeah. But with our six people doing non jail functions, training, whatever it is, that that'll always boost that time on up. Yes, too. sir. Yes, yeah, so anytime we have school or vacations or sick time, you still have to fill those slots. Unlike you know other divisions, when they take a person takes a day off, you don't have to fill that slot. If someone took off, say in um, if Nancy took off for the day, no one would have to fill her slot because she's not mandated to have that slot filled. If anybody's missing in the jail, we have to fill that slot. Yeah, we just make her work late tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did make some changes on this this report. Uh, this time it's kind of a work in progress, but um, there were some totals on the left side of the page that really weren't meaningful totals, um, and so I just took those totals off. Uh, on the right hand side, the totals that were there were trying to make some comparisons to budget, but it was not as straightforward as this new format. So I changed the format. Um, and just, just a word of explanation is um, where it shows the uh, year-to-date actual expense that is on the earned period. So that matches the uh, overtime period. So the overtime and the regular hours are all for the same period on those totals. Even though the overtime is lagged two weeks from when it was actually earned, then I lagged the salary amounts also. So all those totals should match for the time period. Unfortunately, on the journal, the paging <laughs> cut off the titles of those columns. I'll have to be a little more careful with how that prints. But you can see what the totals, the column totals are just below that for those column totals. I apologize for that. I'll watch out for that next time. So you have the actual expense for the periods, for the most recent period for overtime. Then a year-to-date projection is calculated in the next column. Then the budget amounts next. And the difference between the projected and the budget will give you the projection currently for how we would end the year. One other thing that um, I plan to do to this in the future, just haven't quite got there yet, is especially in the jail um, staffing, we do have a lot of turnover. I know you're well aware of that. The way this report is put together, um, because it is used as a projection of the year-to-date ending balance, if someone terminates, we can't take them off the sheet because that would remove their overtime hours. So when someone terminates, they're still on this page. Also, when a new hire is brought in, the new hire who's replacing the slot of that term terminated person also is on the report. So this report will get quite long by the end right. of the year. What I want to do is um, color code the terminations and the new hires. So eventually you kind of see the flow of that and 
just for your own information, see how much of a difference that has made. And so I, I have not got there yet, but I, I will hopefully get there by the next time so you can see that, that dynamic in it. Going back to the page one of seven, what, what are the color codes? Golden rod. There's several of those. I don't. Uh, which color code? Okay, the just the, out in the. Uh, okay, the, the um, employee ID number. On the employee ID number, that color coding was my beginnings of coding the new people. Oh, that's the that people. Would be new, new yes, hire. Mm -hmm. okay, that's going to be the new hires since December. Okay, great. And then I'll use a different color for the terminations since okay. December. That way we'll see the coming and going. That's, yes. that's a good, that'd be a good feature. Very good. I didn't see a uh, code drive. Did I miss it? Is it? No, I haven't, uh, haven't got quite okay. that far. That's good. I just <laughs> I I saw those scattered through there. That's, that's excellent. That's what we need is some more information. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> This is a very helpful report. It gives us some, uh, you know, forecasting tools as, yeah. as well as you can forecast that because of the varying population. But it does give you some. Yeah. And Will, you're you're holding the line budget-wise on on that jail deal, and I think knowing where the, your numbers at, uh, you know, it, it shows you over by one hundred and three thousand right now, but you'll be able to work some of that out every opportunity to, you to get. To we have six starting this Friday. Um, we are on the final, we have six or seven more that are on the final phases that may start within the next two to three weeks. But we already have notices of two additional that will be leaving us by the end of the month. So it's just that continuing yeah. juggling, trying to get ahead yeah. of the game. We are planning a, a job fair for the first weekend of April, hoping to get a, a big turnout for everyone. Again, get a big push of hirees. I talked about this being a forecasting tool, but trying to predict what that jail population is going to be is like for years me sitting trying to figure out what wheat yields and cotton yields are going to be six <laughs> months down the road. It's uh, it's pretty much a moving target, but it does give you some. Uh, for the most part, you can t we've been holding pretty steady between yeah. 420 and 450. So we're kind of averaging. That's pretty much where our average is at. Which is what, Judge, 100 below where we would yep. normally be? Yes, sir. I think we had some up in the mid-500s yes. last year. It gets to that 550, that's when the alarms begin to go off. And yes, sir. Yeah. That's good. That's good news. You had some overtime, should have, last week for elections. In the security yes, sir. area. They're going to be, uh, those elections were going to be in the, um, I believe in the... Uh, Security section 562s. Correct. We need to pick those up when we build. I think we build the parties for those election workers for that day. Okay, I have a list in my in, in my office. I'll email it to one of y'all who worked on the overtime. How many hours they worked on? The yeah. Not enough. We had one election worker for early voting hit over time because we were short people. Uh, so. Well, while we're talking about elections, uh, just one, it's not on, of course, not on this report, but uh, on the other reports of overtime, where it gives all of the uh, departments, there is some overtime listed for the election workers. We did not uh, lag their time, their overtime by two weeks to pay it because they probably won't get a check next time. So those 30 people or so, their overtime is paid currently. Yeah, they call me. And I, I don't. It just made more sense to do it that way just One because check, clean, clean they just work now and not again for yeah. six months. So. Judge, I'd make a motion that we accept payroll report and process uh, as required. Second. Thank you, gentlemen. Motion by Commissioner Mahler, a second by Commissioner Beecham. Is there any other questions on the payroll? Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 
Opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4-0. All right. It is uh, 9-27. We're adjourned. You know, Judge, this is just another thing that we have to do that's now required that we come together to do it, but it is a good process. Mm -hmm. It does. It's like looking at the bills on Friday. I mean, that's just another thing that we got to say and do, but it does help you be better managed. It really does help. Yes. Yeah. I don't think she's yeah. on the side of my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't penetrate though. Well, insinuating circumstances. The body's still working. There's just a lot going on. Gail. Yeah. Gail. yeah. Okay. Um, is there anybody who can talk to you about your job fair in April, or are you ready to talk about it? Oh, you mean on the side where the helper stands? Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Trish. Hey, I'm Trish Spiegel. Oh, nice mate. Nice well, to meet you. She was here a long, long time ago. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, as soon as you as put it, put it, um, is there only one tipper on there? Well, Uh-huh. What can you tell what kind it is? Sit down with us. They didn't want to discuss it much.